Hi, my name is Przemek Chojecki and you're watching my YouTube channel. This episode is about basic data science vocabulary and I wanted to make it a little bit different because I'll be writing on uh, this board so you can see everything that I'm writing and we're going to have this little chat about data science. So first of all, what is data science? Data science is basically about data. Um, we're trying to analyze data by scientific methods so that we can extract some kind of information, we can get something useful for our business. Then within data science, we can basically uh, talk about machine learning. Uh, so depending how you define it, machine learning is either uh, within data science or it's overlapping with data science. But basically data, machine learning is uh, algorithms which are used to teach a machine from data. So we'll be, I'll be using this term basically within data science. Uh, I'm talking both about data science, machine learning. And then if you go deeper, then uh, we arrive at uh, deep learning. So deep learning is machine learning when we talk about neural networks uh, of depth at least three. So that's, or four, that's the most common, uh, co common uh, definition. So deep learning, it's all about uh, neural networks. And basically neural networks are those uh, funny objects when uh, you analyze data using neurons. It's like using a brain, a uh, human brain, but for a computer. So basically you have this uh, input and then you have the couple of neurons who are activated by uh, a different input funct function. And then you want to have something at the output saying, for example, you have a classification problem and you have something uh, like a yes, no question. For example, is this cat, is this photo presenting a cat or, or not? Uh, and you have to decide. And as an input, you have uh, an image. As an output, you want to have this yes or no. So here's an image. And that's basically a very easy definition of a neural network. Also simplification. So basically when we talk about data science, and machine learning, we have a term of a model. Uh, so model is us in modeling something. Uh, so we're trying to have a simplified vision of what we're trying to achieve and build an architecture, build an algorithm which would give us um, an output we would like to, to do. So a model in this case, so if we want to say cut uh, yes or no, uh, we built a model which this is the model, this is the architecture of the algorithm. So neural net uh, is our model for trying to determine whether a photo is a cat or it's not a cat. So then when you have a model, you can train and test it. So by training, we mean uh, taking the data set, uh, taking our dead data, and running this model over it so that we can adjust our par parameters to a given model. So in case of a neural networks, which are uh, convoluted functions, basically it's all about uh, taking the data set and adjusting those weights within neural networks. So it's all going here. So we have mo training model uh, through uh, data and then we arrive at uh, neural nets with weights. Then we want to test the model uh, so that we'll be able to say that whether that's working or not uh, and whether our model actually learned in a good way. So that's the basic for training machine learning and deep learning models. Uh, and then you have a couple of terms which uh, also appear in data science, more on the statistics side. So we have the whole term of uh, statistics um, statistics and uh, basically uh, first of all you have uh, linear algebra so what's going into linear algebra is basically uh, vectors matrix matrices uh, in plural matrices uh, so anything which goes like you want to multiply matrices, you want to multiply vectors, uh, because basically those are 
the basic, very basic ingredients of data. You want to express everything in terms of vectors and matrices, and then do different computations with those in order to arrive at your solution. So basically what neural networks are doing, uh, they are taking some kind of an input, like here you will have three by three uh, or three by one vector, you multiply it by probably some three by three matrix uh, with some function and you get to another, uh, another layer. So uh, that's basically what we're doing here. On another hand, you also want to know uh, probability theory. That's uh, at least some basics. So things like uh, random variable, you want to uh, ha you want to know what's very uh, random variable, and then the probability space. And there are a couple bunch of uh, other terms uh, which are used within that because basically when it comes to probability, you want to compute um, either probability of different random variables, also expected value sometimes. This is crucial in order to uh, analyze your models here. So you you always be using probability theory in order to evaluate your models, whether they train well, whether uh, they're giving you a good um, answers, the good uh, solutions for your test data, uh, and whether that's something you're doing right or wrong. Uh, so so this is crucial uh, with that, that respect. So basically you have... Uh, data science is going those two directions. Uh, you have, this is more on the mathematics side and this is more on the computer science side. But honestly, those two are really um, related to each other basically through uh, data science. Yeah, so, so this is how I view uh, the very basic vocabulary of data science. Um, some of them I have covered in my uh, course. So please have a look at the uh, data science crash course where I go through all those terms one by one. Uh, and there will be more movies about that. Also, let me know how you like this form of uh, video where I have a blackboard. I'm used to having a blackboard because um, I was teaching students at a university when I was doing a PhD and after my PhD. So uh, this is pretty uh, natural for me to write something on a blackboard. And I, I love blackboards. You can always write uh, interesting stuff. Thank you for watching this episode and see you in the next one. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be really grateful. Thank you and see you in the next one.